are losing more of their mind over Mickey Mouse being in the public domain than if people found out that God is sitting next to you. Because within hours of this goober being released from the prison that is the Magical Kingdom, the industry and the entire world have taken this character and are just running to the gates of hell to burn him and use this mouth in anything that they can make. Because we are getting a full-blown Marvel Cinematic Universe of Mickey Mouse content being announced within the first 48 hours of 2024. Because one, we got a trailer for a Mickey Mouse horror movie called Mickey's Mousetrap, which just like the Winnie the Pooh movie, looks like it was made with the same amount of money that is currently sitting in your little brother's piggy bank. Because it looks super bad and the plot sounds dumb as well. Because apparently the main character who is named Alex is doing a late night shift at an amusement park, but at the same time, it's her birthday. So her friends decide to accompany her to celebrate her birthday at the amusement park, but Shiver Me Timber Sports fans, a wild Mickey Mouse for some reason is on the loose and is trying to kill everybody. Now one thing I found very cool is that apparently companies can't use the name Mickey Mouse. Disney still has control over that name and people are only allowed to use the name Steamboat Willie because that is the name of the original Mickey Mouse. However, in this movie, these sneaky nipple twisting bastards found a loophole with the apostrophe to save themselves from any sort of copyright trouble. And this is probably going to be the only cool thing about this movie because they made Disney eat dust. But on top of that, there is a new horror game coming out called Infestation 88 and it's a 1 to 4 player horror game where you have to deal with a rodent outbreak and set traps to find and kill all the little dream fans that are located in this area. And it's called Infestation 88 because it's a rat infestation and this game takes place in 1988. And from the looks of it, it looks fine and I'm sure upon release will also be fine. It's not like this game will reinvent the condom or anything. But I think what saves this game from being atrocious is that you could play this with your friends. But other than that, I think this will just be, be kind of lame. But the last thing I want to touch on in this Mickey Galaxy of Media is that another horror movie, properly called Steamboat Willie, is going to start filming in spring. And it is about Mickey Mouse killing a bunch of people on a ferry. Now at first, I thought that this was going to be a Mickey Mouse movie where, you know, the filmmakers try to make a good movie because first of all, the picture looks good. And second, it's going to start filming in spring, so it's not like they're rushing anything. However, the director for this movie, Steven Lamort, he is also the same Jellybean who directed a horror parody called The Mean One, which is basically a short film about the Grinch being a cannibal. But what's alarming and also kind of not shocking is that nobody liked it. But Lamort sounds passionate about the project and Disney's brand is getting pooped on by Hollywood, so what more can you really ask for? But look, in all honesty, I do not mind that a bunch of random Mickey projects are being made because I like that the most iconic cartoon of all time has now become this fleshlight that everybody is sharing. Because no matter what situation you put Mickey in, it is going to be so goofy and hilarious because it is a situation we likely have never seen him in before. And besides, some silly donkey out there is going to make some thought-provoking story with Mickey, so it's not like Mickey's going to be just milked out for fan service. But bro, the moment Batman enters the public domain, the world is going to go crazy. But yeah, thank you for watching.